<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be bringing you another PS4 tutorial if you are on firmware 1.76 and below, and this is a second game that has been released publicly with mods. This is for Far Cry 4. So again, this has actually been created and released by Too Much For You, so huge shout out to him, and it is a mod menu that has been put on there, which we're going to load through the Azure menu website. Now, it is quite a basic menu. There's only a few things you can do, and it's also a little bit funky how you control and use it, so I'm going to be showing you that and explaining it as well too. But first off, to do this, you have to have a PS4 on firmware 1.76. At the moment, this does not work on any other firmwares. On top of that, you're also going to need to get a hold of a copy of Far Cry 4, a disc version, as you can see right here, which is loaded in, and you're going to need to perform, it is highly recommended at least, to perform the permanent internet browser modification on here through the WebKit exploit. If you're wanting information on how to do it I'm going to have a link down below in the description for my video and this video is going to assume the one right here will assume that you've already performed the steps to do that so you have an internet browser which is accessible so first off you want to go ahead make sure you have Far Cry 4 make sure your PS4 is exploitable and then we're going to go over to our internet browser that you should have hooked up now, once you go here and it opens up the web page, you're going to want to go, as you can see, mine loaded up already, but you want to go to AzureMenu.com. The link will be down below in the description, and if you look it up or if you go to it on here, it will automatically take you to this website. Now, just to show you all that this is the real thing, I'm going to refresh this. And as you can see, this is it. We have Azure Menu for Grand Theft Auto 5 and Azure Menu for Far Cry 4. All you need to do is click on this, wait a few seconds, and you're now going to see payload la loaded waiting for game now you want to press the ps or the home button so you're going to press that so that the internet browser is still going to run in the background then go over to far cry 4 and boot that up once far cry 4 loads up it should give you some prompts right here and as you can see far cry 4 detected that is exactly what we're looking for and it's now setting up the environment so what you need to do is you need to go ahead and get in game i would recommend playing through a little bit of the game first before loading this up but i'll show you then how to utilize the menu so right here once the menu comes up you're just going to press x to start we're not going to sign into psn obviously because we don't want to and once it logs into our profile right here, we're going to just continue our offline game. So now once it loads in game, it's going to say Azure activated, look up to open, look down to close, and melee to select. It's going to be a little bit confusing, but I'm going to show you what to do. So first off, if you're having any difficulty loading up the menu um, and navigating it, Right now, as you can see, we're kind of in a safe area. We're in this village. Uh, what I'd recommend is leaving so you can go somewhere where you can openly utilize a gun and uh, you'll be able to make this a lot easier, just weapons of any kind. So I think this road is fine right here. What I'm gonna do is, let's see if I can select my weapon. Can I pull it out? Uh, maybe, there we go. Or actually, no, it keeps uh, letting me, as you can see, like since we're right here, I'm just keeping the gun down, I'm not actually aimed at anything, so you want to go somewhere, as I said, where you can actually utilize your weapon. So let's just run down the hill here a little, and there we go. So if you can see your reticle, this is a good place to use the mod menu. If you don't have that, it's going to be a lot more difficult. So first off, all you need to do is look up. When you look up at the sky, you're going to get the menu right there. If you look all the way down, you'll deactivate the menu. So it's a little bit funky, it's a little bit trickier to use than the Grand Theft Auto one, but I'll show you how to navigate it. Now, to actually utilize the menu, you, we're gonna have to go up look up and you're just going to, to navigate the menu you need to look down just a little bit down like that so you can move it down and you can also look up just in little increments like that to actually move the uh, the cursor right there as you can see we're selecting different things so first off I want to change the account option so you select the option that you want and then you melee which by default is R3 now I'm gonna go here Let's go ahead, max out our XP. So as you can see, I've maxed that out. Um, I'll go ahead. Oh, it looks like some other stuff is coming up right here. It looks like if these skill sets and such are coming up, then it'll be a little bit harder to use. But either way, we can now go ahead and move this back up. I'll go ahead and max out the Karma. So we've maxed that out and we can mess around with the other settings too. Now, as you can see, you might have some difficulty like right here if you're looking in the corner with these notifications and other things that pop up and other button prompts, these might interrupt the menu. So you're just gonna have to wait for these to go away or follow the prompts. But once they go away, you can activate the menu again. So as you can see, we now have the mod menu back. So I'll go ahead also max out my money 
just for giggles right here and there we go max money and we should have that as well too so you can now also go back and you can play around with the world options your player options etc i'll go ahead turn on god mode turn on in uh, unlimited ammo I'm not going to use invisibility, but you all get the picture right here. So you can go ahead and play around with this to your heart's content. Um, I'll go ahead and activate Storm just to have that on for fun. But yeah, that's about really all you can do on this so far. Oh, there's also teleport options, so we'll go ahead and teleport somewhere. Let's go ahead and go over to the mansion. And looks like this is all loading in. Okay, there we go. Game nearly crashed on us, but I think we're good. We should be able to handle that. So again, if you want to close it, just look all the way down. And that's about it. So we're solid there. Now, I haven't played around with any of the other gravity things. We can go ahead and try out gravity right now. I'll go ahead and set this to, uh, you know, it will make the gravity very low. This might make playing the game a bit harder, um, just from my experience on here. But uh, it's also fun to mess around with at the same time. So go ahead, have fun with this, try it out. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this get updated further. But um, again, you know, it's it's limited so far, but it is a really awesome proof of concept mod menu. So hopefully you all have some fun with it. You can play around. And the only thing I've noticed with the gravity, at least here, is um, I've noticed if you are utilizing a vehicle, it doesn't seem to change the gravity, which is good or bad, depending on what type of person you are. So you can drive vehicles just fine. But there you go so i figured i'd give you all that little tutorial on the mod menu as well just due to the fact that it's not as easy to navigate or use as like the grand theft auto 5 mod menu for example you're gonna have to do a few trickier things just to navigate it anyways this is mr mario signing off thank you all for watching everyone again a huge shout out and thank you to too much for you for making this possible and if you enjoyed this video a like would very much be appreciated if you absolutely hated it a dislike is fine as well too